Right, well, let's go with Continental Dawn. I am going to try for the all techs in six hours of game time achievement. So there's going to be a lot of times eight speed. We've got a crafter. Let's start crafting stuff. Put down our usual collection areas. We've got a wood pile. We're going to need a stone pile. Just by the crafter. Um, should we build a storage tent or another hut? Let's build another hut first, another tent. And go and do some hunting to get our first food in. Oh yes, we need skin dryers, don't we? Food variety sorted out. Limits. Let's take a look. 125 so that people can come in and be warmed. We don't want a limit on raw skins at all. Everything else is for later. Nine more spears. And then we can switch to bone spears. Only two hunters again. I wonder if that's because they're not carrying spears. Maybe if I just make them go and hunt, they'll pick up a spear. Let's go get a bear. So. Axes and picks. What are we doing down here? Okay, we've got a couple of spears left to make. And I've got a spear limit on, haven't I? Let's take it off. Otherwise it won't make those spears. How many by face have we made? Three. Again, I need to change the limits. Knives, infinite for now. We've got one in the queue. Good, 
good. We can cancel that spear. Up the bone spears. And ask a seven by face. Reading for food. Okay. Got plenty of downtime. So let's use some of that workload we've got going. Tents. which um, tech slings, better for hunting. Five of 10, one of three. the workload going up then I think that's because all this going back and forward to collect the meat so three more tents will give us a bit of knowledge a couple more storage tents will give us some knowledge just gotta wait for that workload to die down much space have we got? 12 more people. That's fine. Excellent. Let's get the drying tech. Let's buy face. We've got enough of now. Um... How many harpoons do we need? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Ooh, mammoth. Lots of lovely food and some knowledge points. And we can get four of them, which takes us nearly all the way to that second knowledge point. And a cave bear. leather allows us to start getting better prestige uh, better welfare uh, limits on tannin I don't want any because we're going to be using a lot of leather and so we don't really want limits on leather either Let's please start to make some. Right, we've nearly finished these harpoons. Okay, good. We can now start to make picks and collect stone. Let's do that.
couple will do for now. Put a couple of axes. How many bone spears have I made? Nine. So you'll want one more bone spear. And then we'll chuck out ten flint. That's nine. Traders don't trade tech when you need to move up a level. Let's make sure bone is infinite because we can get a lot of bone through hunting. And it's just got a price of two. If I collect like a hundred bone, I might be able to buy a tech with it. Okay, flint. And stone, please. Now, is there any stone in places where I'm going to be likely to want to build? I might want a wall going in, in that sort of area, so let's clear out that stone first. Okay, we're going to make more than 10 leather, just naturally. Good. Right. We need seven more bone harpoons, one more flint spear. Do we have limits? We don't. Axes we need to put onto infinite for now. Also fishing tools. All the tools will need to be on infinite until we've made ten of each type. Right, we can move up. Great. That means we can start trading. I think it's seven per, yeah, seven per knowledge now in this age. Right, seven. What to get? We need sickles before we can do much else, but that makes such a difference to productivity. Sledge making. We also need to build a funeral arrangement thingy. And now we do start to need, we do need to start making sledges. So let's get a couple of halves up for that knowledge point. And let's get five sledges queued. Right, okay, what do we need to build more of? We've got that, bone knives, bone sickles, we don't have the tech yet. We've done bone harpoons. Five more axes, seven more picks. Now I think Bone is the only thing you can use for harpoons, so I'm going to set my limit 
we're going to get fishing rods at some point. We're going to set a limit on harpoons. And spears. For now, we're going to limit because the next one is going to be copper. And that's a while away. We're going to be able to get flint knives soon. Trader. You have nothing that interests me. Maybe some leather. No cop. Okay, we're going to put X onto automatic now and also set a limit for 50% of humans, of adults rather. Likewise, the spears actually. We don't want to limit on picks yet because we want to get the knowledge points. Speaking of which, Okay, let's go for totems. Everyone's a bit busy. But those sledges should help. Okay, so now the picks can go on to automatic with a limit. And we can go hunt some boar. So what's our store, housing capacity? 13 people. What's our prestige? That's rubbish. Our welfare isn't too great either. It's probably because of low food. In preparation of getting some agriculture down, let's clear some space and take the wood limit up a bit so that it actually does get cut. Okay, slings. We get two slings from each skin, so let's do that. We're going to make sure knives also are automatically getting replenished. And harpoons. Yeah, okay, cool. Trader. No techs. I'm going to bump the stone limit up as well. Because the next age is going to start using stone. And mud. Good. I don't have to pick up every tech on the way. I want to make a beeline for up here now, but I do need the sickles. And it is time to put down a second crafter. He's just going to be doing clothing at high priority. Let's cancel those for now because I want the skins to go into clothing. Right, let's unlock sickles. Bone, we've kind of got plenty of. 
we can make it in small hopefully right we are high priority equal event only But there's no big game anywhere nearby. Okay, we're going to have to go further afield. This lake down here to the west of the camp is really good for hunting. really want to get this agriculture unlocked because with 16 population food starts to get used fairly quickly we got any more hunters in camp because there's a juicy juicy animal there and i've taken all my hunters on the um the hunt okay we're good for skin outfits now. So I'll put that job back on. Finally, some tech, 150. Good. Faded away too many leather outfits. Oh well. Okay, everybody's eating because they were all hungry. Okay, what, how can we get, we can get two more burial mounds, five skull poles, five totems. Those both require skins and leather, but we can get some mortars up, which we're going to need anyway. Not tanners, please. Mortar. I need bone, don't I? For the skull poles. And dry skin. And we can now move up to there. So we can make flint sickles and flint knives now. And 15 knowledge is our next target to get up to here. And I'm just going to buy the other techs on this level. Archery, yeah, sure, it's nice. Fortifications we don't need. For a little while probably even until the copper age
I'm going to put up some more skin dryers. Because we've reached that stage in the game when we need to be producing quite a lot of it. I'm going to put down the blueprints for some skull poles so that bone gets used as it comes in. Right, we must be nearing our limit, so some tents need to go down. Bearing in mind that my wall's going to have to come down here, so I don't want to get too close to that. It's 15 we need. That's frustrating. Really do need to get this agriculture up if this if this level of the game is not going to be spawning in animals, which it doesn't look like it is. At least not enough. Hello, look what I can see, big and nearby. No tax. We can, however, move up to cereal domestication, and as a bonus, it's winter, so we can get to do some planting. I don't want to plant too much, because that'll hammer the workload. And make sure these are all high priority. And we're going to start putting down some haystacks because we're going to be using straw for building. We're also going to need some in stables. Now, on this level, I like to put my stables here. It's going to be outside the walls. So I'll put a haystack on route. And let's start clearing an area for... For the stables as well when we get some domesticated animals. Moving up to goats. We do want flint mines as well though, don't we? That's going to be important. Should have got flint mines. 
Okay. So we've done axes, we've done spears, flint, sickles, and knives we need to do. We nearly got slings. So let's do sickles and knives. Couple of picks. There. Good. And they take skins, of course they take skins. I need this tech before I can build the stables. Let's put some flint collecting down here. So let's go into thatching, because we've still got some flint. And I need to build stables now. Right, so that's where my wall's going to be, so stables need to go outside of there. And now we start looking for mouflon to tame. Not mouflon, Ibex. I haven't seen any Ibex this game. Ah, good. We've got some large animals around here, finally. Okay, Raider attack. If we can get a bit closer. Oh, they actually took down the stables. They don't normally do that. Okay then, um, I guess the stables have to go somewhere else. For now. We also need stone collecting. Let's put a couple of people on that. And we can start upgrading these as well. Right, okay, great. We've got food come in. We've got straw come in. Let's make this a priority. Let's see if we can catch some Ibex. Okay, we've got adult female. Good, good, good. Two males. Oh, he's selling sheep. Let's quickly get sheep domestication. Because getting wool is really valuable. 
Right, Mr. Trader. Oh, it's goats. Okay, well, what can we give you for that? I don't want to sell sickles now. I think I have to face the fact that I don't have enough to get this, possibly. Okay, I do. Okay, so we've got some goats. We've even got somewhere for them to live. We've got five goats. Two female that might start to breed. They might start to breed. Let's keep an eye on it. We're going to need another stables to catch some of the surplus now. Cheese maker. I'll build a cheese maker. Even though I really don't get the point of cheese. You get such little milk. Look at this gift. Get such little milk that it's really not worth building a cheese maker. More hunters, please. Nobody's... Huh. Nobody wants to be a hunter. Is it eight or nine you need? It's seven. Right. Um... The well is useful for putting in your stables. Okay, getting two more cheese makers gets us a knowledge point, so I just build and recycle them. Spring workload is always a nightmare. want to miss that opportunity. Here comes a trader, but I'm pretty sure I don't have enough to sell and there's nothing I want anyway. I think you get knowledge points for free mines, don't you? No, you don't. Four stables, five huts. Water, I do want, I want some wells. Yeah, we can recycle those.
knocking up a couple of stables is worth doing anyway. And I'm going to take a break. Okay, so we can see playtime is 1 hour 20. And although techs are usually quite fast to come in the early game, I was really struggling because there is no game. What have we got? Not all that much. However, well, I can't put up defences. I don't have the text yet. I've done the cheese makers. A storage hut. Looks remarkably like a stable, doesn't it? Okay, let's upgrade these, the storage huts first. Right, so the other question is, are there any mouflon? Mouflon give us wool. Wool makes clothes and it's never not valuable for traders. Okay, we're going to have to go quite far out to capture some. You need about seven adult mouflon females before you have a stable population so I'm looking anywhere and everywhere we haven't got any bone but I'm not doing it instinct mode because um, then I'd have to pause the game which I don't want to do Those predators. Dog. Mouflon. Cool. Sending people out here is likely to get them killed. So let's not do that. Wait for the um, harvest to come in. Probably going to need some more fields. Let's upgrade another tent. Okay, we can put defences down now. We're going to need that before we go into the Copper Rage. That can wait. Oh no, it can't. We're going to need that for the clothing. Bridges we have no use for. Megalithism will get us more people, which always helps with everything. So, what was it I just got? Oh yes, fortifications. Right. Trader. Two adult goats, no. Build, defensive. Five gates gets us a knowledge point. Now, raiders will always attack a gate if there's one nearby. So, I'm going to put a gate here to attract raiders coming from this direction. I've got to be careful because I want to build walls between them. Another gate here. Ooh, but then the wall runs into that, doesn't it?
Ah, no, we're going to have to have a corner here, aren't we? Right, so that's fine. So I'm going to have a gate here to attract raiders from there and over there. The wall can have corners, that's fine. One there. There's no need for a gate on this side. Except there is, isn't there? Because I want people to be able to get out to go fishing and stuff. So. Okay, the palisade can come down along there. As long as we get rid of that and that, which we can't do. Okay. So. That's the palisade. So I want my gate around here. So let's just pop down a wall as a marker and create the gate next to it. So that's one, two, three, four. I need five. This wall is going to have to come around here and have a couple of corners in it. Okay. It would be quite nice to have one here as well so people can get out to go hunting more efficiently, but I don't think that's gonna that's not gonna fly. So this palisade is gonna come all the way down here. So I shall have a fifth gate here. And let's pop up some platforms as well. We're under no real threat at the moment. Everything's nice and peaceful, but it's not gonna stay that way. Okay, it's probably best let that workload die down. Weedon. Although there might be a good argument for keeping the buying these and pressing on to the Copper Age next. Okay, how's our population doing? We've got four adult females goats and three adult female mouflon which might be enough but might not so let's capture those two Workload is now sensible again. And while I'm remembering, I'm going to put limits in. 30 mouflon, 10 goat. Okay, so let's get our platforms up. Need wall before we can put up a platform. Good news is this is going to get us some knowledge points again. The 
the next thing to do of course is to join these up these gates right some more huts a couple more wells some storage huts some burial mounds okay one two burial mounds Let's put a well out here so that if people do get that far out they can drink with an ibex. Just checking around for mufon. Right, okay, that'll do. And then another well. outside the walls I, I could put it I don't really need any more in here there is going to be some stuff going on down here I guess so I'll put a well there to make doing stuff down there more efficient we've got space for four more people so I can do this by upgrading I'm upgrading that and, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do two actually which temporarily doesn't give me enough space but they both needed repair, so rather than waste resources on repairing something I'm not going to keep, I'll just kick it to the side. Now I've got wool starting to come in, so we need that weaver. And an outfitter. Where can I put the outfitter? I can put it there, that's probably better. We're going to need skins. And we have none. So, because we're not yet culling our animals, let's just wait for the workload to die down to something reasonable. And I am going to take the opportunity to put in some more planting. We've got sticks over there we can collect. Good, good, good. I want at least two of each crop in case one suffers from disease. And we'll bump these up to important. How many sickles have we got? 14. Going to be needing more sickles than that. Do we have a limit on sickles? We do not. Do we have anyone producing sickles? We do. But it's probably best to have this chap on it as well. We can get more points with flint knives. And, and let's put this onto sickle production as well. And uh, now uh, the harvest is in. We are going to need some more um, crops for better straw as those animals start to breed and now I need some I need some skins trader has arrived hello trader You've got a tech. I am always buying tech and I'm always buying sheep if I can as well. And in fact, the sheep are more important at this point. 
I don't think I can afford the tech anyway, so... I'm going to take the hit of a bit of unhappiness come summer. So we'll put down a new hut. And let's sound the alarm. Lost a couple of people. But gained some knowledge. Enough now that we can go into the Copper Age. How are our weapons looking and our people? We've only got 37 people. And we don't have a lot of prestige. But if we get into the Copper Age, we can start to get copper and stuff. We do need more people. So building a dolmen is probably a wise next step. Let's do that. We can still get into the Copper Age before too long. 224%. So I need to upgrade all these. I'm going to start getting some skins again. Good. Okay. We'll call that the end of the session. Workload is high, but that's because we're sowing seed. Okay. I'm looking around for megaliths. There's three over here, which is enough for a dolmen. I'd prefer to build a stone circle, because that just needs another three, but gives treble the prestige. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Ah. Gonna send some hunters out for that. Oh, there's actually a couple of people there already. Now where was I? I just found five megaliths. So I just need one more. I can have a stone circle, which would be ace. There's one. We'll have to drag it through the town, but that's okay. Because at no time will it be like a long, long way away from the settlement. Okay, so we've still got massive workloads. And it looks like that might be down to sheep needing to be sheared. There's a lot of huge sheep jobs. The plus side is that's going to get me a lot of wool. Let's put this onto infinite. I wonder what sells for more. I bet it's woolen cloth or even wooden clothing. Woolen. Did I say woolen? Certainly worth finding out. It was ages ago I put those bow jobs up. Oh, 
Okay, well, we don't want our stone circle to be too close because we might want agriculture. On the other hand, we don't want it too far away because we don't want people traipsing over half the map to get there. Is there a handy little flat area we can put it? I mean, I guess there... It is a bit close if I want some... extra agriculture. Ah, I can put it here. In an area which otherwise isn't very flat, so won't be used for agriculture. Fine. Good. Okay. Spare capacity can go down for that. That extra prestige will hopefully bring us in extra population. I am going to need flax for linen. Uh, I'm loath to spend the knowledge points. I'd much rather buy them. Okay. Where's copper? must be some copper. I'm going to have to go into instinct mode. Okay, so we've got copper there, there, there and there. Okay, good. All spread out towards the other lake. Speaking of which, do we have capacity for a hunting expedition? Not really at the moment. And our food isn't too bad, so... Pigs, that's not what I want to be purchasing. Bones are still going for two. Wool, wool cloth. So wool cloth is actually more valuable than a wool outfit. It's interesting to know. I really do need the extra capacity for workloads before I go into copper. On the other hand, Copper Edge doesn't really boost the Raiders that much. Why am I not getting any leather? I've got tannin. I've got skins. I'm going to put a leather thing on high priority. We're still making new skins outfits. Should probably stop doing that. We want oh and leather outfits we still do need. Hmm. But let's take that down off high priority so we can get some leather directed to other places. Okay, we've got a bit of free um workload, so Putting up some walls seems like a sensible thing to do. How are we doing for sledges? Oh dear. Well, that 
is another reason why our workload is so high. And we need leather for it. Trader! I don't think I've got enough to buy anything off you and you're not selling anything I want anyway. We've got 40 animals. Goats should be giving us a semi-regular supply of... Well, it's a low amount of skins, isn't it? Um, when I get up to 30 sheep, I'll be getting a much better supply. I know it's hitting the workload, but... We might even need more straw. I might have to lower my sheep level down to 20, which is more than enough to sustain. But I don't have the population to create any more straw. Right, let's go and get some skins. We are definitely going to need sledge. the crops aren't coming in we've got enough size but they're just ignoring the crops it's very bad our human food is fine it's our straw which is our problem. And I'm thinking I am going to cull some of those sheep. 47 straw is not going to be enough for a year. Okay, we've got enough wool. So yeah, just checking we're not making any more skins. I want to have a look at copper sickle. Speed 1.5, lasts for six years as opposed to a flint sickle. Exactly the same. Exactly the same stats. Um, copper's a bit rubbish, all in all. May as well just keep using flint. Oh, those raiders brought down my platform. Okay, let's get everyone back into camp. Where are they? Alright, they've gone. I think I can go to the Copper Age now. The Raiders are certainly not any sort of threat level.
it means that my flint and other stuff becomes less valuable. I don't really have enough of it for trading anyway at the moment, so... It gives me more prestige to get into the Copper Age. And that brings me more people, and I need people for the workload. So let's do it. Trader has arrived. What do you got for me, Trady? Stilting, 280. Give you everything that's about to become useless. good and we will go up to copper now so look at that workload it's because it's spring isn't it and because i just put down all those jobs for building the walls and chopping down trees right we're now officially out of straw and the workload is too high to even butcher the sheep to bring the workload down. There goes the first megalith. Okay, we didn't get everything sewn. Probably because of the workload. That's arrived at Stone Circle, good. So we can't get more flint out of the flint mine without picks. Right, so these jobs are just staying here. Because I don't have the wood to do them. So if I look at my camp, there might actually be idle people. Hmm, only idle children. They ought to be able to be doing this. Oh, straw. Yeah. We need straw for huts, don't we? Mm. Not the best plan to do that, was that, in the middle of a straw crisis? And because we didn't plant everything, we're not going to get as much straw as we had hoped. Okay, good. That will help with the workload. We've got space for 17 more people. Good. So as those people start to come in, our workload should go down. Well, we... Okay, great. Straw has recovered. So the amount of planting we've got going on right now is fine. Okay. Let's get these all cut down because they're within our settlement. And we need wood for walls. Tools. We've still got some tools on infinite, haven't we? We shouldn't. 100% of the population needs a knife, only about, we need about 20 axes. Oh. 
probably need about 20 sickles. So that will reduce some of the workload. Flax, good, good, good. I don't want to get rid of any sickles. Or picks. Or axes, really. Um, bones are still worth two at this stage, so I can get some of those, and spears can go. Um, skin's outfit is still worth ten apiece, so the rest can get up with skins. And one bread. Good. Right, now I do need to move up because I can no longer buy technology at that level. First time in ages, my workload is below 100%. So I'm busy putting it right back up. Okay, so we also need this copper, which if I recall correctly has mines around here. One. two and a three to get the prestige to get the um knowledge points good 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 right not that metallurgy we are going to want a charcoal pit We are going to build pit furnaces. One. Two. And three. And two outside, which I will recycle because I think we get the knowledge points for five of them. And then a metalsmith. We're going to do two metalsmiths. One, two one outside to get the knowledge points and deconstruct. Alongside this we are going to put a wood pile and a metal pit pile. Wood pit didn't go down. Do we get any bonuses for extra wood pits? Charcoal pits I mean? Don't think so. No. Donkey domestication. No bones are still worth two. Bows are quite good to trade. Bone sickle still worth five. See, if I hadn't had to put my sheep limit down. Ooh, it's at 20. I can trade five sheep. Male. That gets me... Not all the way there. They're only worth 20. All the cheese. Let's do all the dry skin. do. Want to get 
up to plowing. I mean, I can go into the Bronze Age, I guess, almost immediately. Cattle might be better for breeding than goats. When do we get the better stables? There. It is summer, we've still got some straw left, good. We don't have any excess capacity. So we will recycle those two. <laughs> Let's get some wood chopping going on. Because now we have... Now we have um, charcoal involved. Wood is going to become one of our scarcest resources. And we're immediately going to recycle that. Let's upgrade. Do you want to upgrade? No, we're going to build a new one because we don't have capacity. And we can build it down here, right where our metal is. Lannery, very useful. Getting crops in quicker. Raiders will leave them alone if they're far enough outside. And I've got a haystack all the way down there, which is silly. Let's put one near to the crops so people don't have to walk as far. No flint lines, so we need one. Just one, because we're going to move on to copper stuff soon. Copper is starting to be produced. So, let's get some copper goods and let's start setting some limits. Infinite. 20. 20. Good. They didn't take anything down with them. We've got any leather? We do not. We don't have any skins with which to make them. Let's put the sheep limit back up to 30. Have we got cattle domestication yet? We do not. Probably want straw before I get that. I mean ploughing. Ok, 
and sledge is good. Sorry, goat. I'm going to knock my dry skin down. I want to focus more on leather. get that out of the way of possibly future crops. Wait, we've acquired 10 copper spears. What's our limit on spears? 100 adults. Let's put that up to 150 so that we get How have I acquired acquired 10 copper spears. This job hasn't been done. Okay. Cattle domestication, right. What can we trade? Those skins, outfits, some flint spears. Now we're getting the copper spears. All the bone spears. Bone is still two. Wool is constantly being renewed. We're nearly there, we're nearly there. Cheese. Some of these sickles. Cattle domestication, so we can go and find some aurochs now. Then they can be used to pull our plows. I think we've got enough straw. The problem is that aurochs breed really slowly. On the other hand, they do give us more resources, so we'll slaughter all the goats because we'll get milk from the cattle. But we have no cattle on the map at this point in time. Sort out my stuff down here, didn't I? There is a wood pile, I want no twigs in it. There is a metal pile. I don't want flint. I don't want stone. I only want stuff for copper and bronze. The season having changed, we might have aurochs spawning in. Okay. No aurochs. And I need to start getting some flax because people will complain about the lack of light clothing. is not going to be high priority that's always going to be straw flax is going to be something we plant if we have spare capacity let's cancel that work area and put it here and let's make it a busy place because i want to finish that wall Oh, typical. Now they're just doing that one. Okay, so we'll put it more carefully here. And give it five people. And this wall has to go around a corner. 
So let's bring it as far as we can. Ooh, trader has arrived. And we've got a tech. back to this wall. <laughs> I've noticed that raiders do sometimes attack corners as well as gates. So it might be wise to put in some structures there. Let's get some of these megaliths bounded up. So as we get leather coming in, they will at least go and pick them up. I'm so close. Do you know what? I'm going to make it up with grain. No, I'm not, because that's our harvest we've just pulled in, isn't it? If I fish, we can have. I've got an abundance of stone because we've had to clear up that. Okay. Which puts me now just with dye to get in here. Yes. Let's get some axes. And then some picks. And then I think it'll be wise to go into the Bronze Age. just so we can keep acquiring text by trading. Let's set the limit of cattle to 10, which is what goats were at. We need to get all those goats culled. Well, this is far too good an opportunity to waste. just culled my own cattle. No. Lucky there was some more just there. I thought I was hunting. That was silly. We are struggling. Do we have flax coming in yet? I planted some, didn't I? Well, at least I laid the grounds for the, the flax. So we will start to get some. As long as we can get everything planted. We 
just don't have the people available. So I'm going to put one field of flax onto high priority. Okay, we're, we're surviving in the Copper Age. It's almost time to go on to the Bronze Age. But I need more people. I desperately need more people. I don't think I've got enough stuff to trade yet. No, I definitely don't. Fifty sickles, that's good enough. How many copper spears have I got? Twelve. But I've only got seventeen spears. Seventeen bows. That's nowhere near good enough. Bows are on auto, on a busy production line. Let's get spears on auto as well. Check the limits, 150, yeah. Okay, good. Okay, this knowledge is, a, this workload is about to shoot up. There it goes. We've only got two cattle. One male, one female. need some more but again none are actually spawning in good good that just requires another three that's one of them and the other two are there and there okay let's get that one built up because this won't take very long to get there chief reason for going up to the Bronze Age will be to get ploughs. But that's useless without cattle to pull them. Excellent. Good. We're back up to a decent amount of leather. We should. We've, we've also got a decent workload, which is going to change come spring. Maybe another haystack would be wise. Aurochs, any Aurochs? That's an Aurochs, but it's an adult and on its own. Absolutely no use to me. Right, I am going to, in fact, cancel this, whatever it is, to try and get some flax in. Because we're fine for straw, we're fine for grain. Let's get that last one rolling. 
Good. Right, it's time to go bronze. And unlock masonry. And shields. We could go straight to Iron Age. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if that works. Because bronze is such a pain. Such a pain. You have to collect so much tin, I'd rather just skip it. Bloomery. One, two, three. And two for recycling. Metalsmith. We've already got the metalsmith. It's the blacksmith we need. One two and one for recycling now iron mines one two three all nearby lovely jubbly how much knowledge will i miss out on by not making bronze. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, not really bothered. Twenty more flint sickles give me a knowledge point. That's worth having. <laughs> Some pulses, yeah. <laughs> I do. Okay. Let's get some chickpeas down. And some lentils. I'm not going to put too much down. I want my winter and summer to be down season. And we may as well put some fruit down there as well. Which, ah, I have just remembered I don't have any stone collecting going on. Better pop down an area for that. Okay, so they can be recycled. Iron seems to maybe take longer. So I'll keep the bronze going for now. What knives have I got? And axes. I've got copper knives and copper axes. Let's keep everything being made in copper. Except for spears. Oh no, I, I, I'm low on spears, so I'll keep that going. Oh, traders here. There's nothing I want to buy. Oh, except for adult female cattle. 512. Can't afford that. But that does mean that cattle are valuable to trade, so I want to get them breeding. Or ox. Okay. This is a much more sizable detachment. This is an Iron Age detachment of raiders. And they kill nine of my humans. So this might not be workable. Two more guard towers for a knowledge point. Armour would be really useful to have. As would ploughs. So those cattle are now... Uh, one adult female, three males of various ages. Need the females.
Oh, look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just here. So a second stone circle around here might be a good idea. A dolmen is also a very good idea. I should get one of those up. And the first thing we want is metal spears and sickles on auto because they bring in the, the harvest so much quickly, so much more quickly. Nothing I really want. Now I've got lots of gorgeous wool, which means I am going to be able to start buying tech again. Now if memory serves from the last time I was on this map, there are some big stones around here. One. Two. So I can build a dolmen around here without too much trouble. Again, the idea is to get prestige, to get people coming to help balance the workload so I can start getting these techs. Steel, great. Let's get steel scythes and steel spears on the go. Okay, linen outfits we want uh, 125%. Good, good. We need so much stuff. Armourer. Good. That will help decrease our casualties. Let's put that as a priority. Tech. Nearly got the plow. How have we got a workshop yet? and sledges and I want my sledge limit to be 50% of all adults armorer I thought I've got armor I not I haven't unlocked armor yet drat okay well, let's get some shields anyway Ah, now I don't have anywhere to keep my iron, do I? So let's allow it. Year on year food is fine. Straw is fine.
Wood is coming back up. It is on infinite, isn't it? Yes, good. Sheep will need shearing, but it's autumn, so we don't have the capacity to do it yet. Here comes another trader. Nothing I want. Right, I'm going to take a break. And we have been playing for, I've been playing for three hours. So that gives me another three hours to get all those techs. Problem is, they're a lot more expensive at this stage in the game. Right, three hours, one minute in. We've got a trader. With no techs. Remind myself of where I am. I am in the middle of a massive workload. I have five cattle now. Two will be female adults shortly. Hello. And we can get a bunch more from there. We've got six knowledge points. We want another watchtower up. Blacksmith we already got. Many, it'd be worth putting one up. A couple of granaries, useless, uh, useful I mean, and a couple more iron mines perhaps. Silimon Iron 20. Let's put it up to 30. Okay, so what stone is really far away, not worth dragging back that we can just turn into a mini. All right, you can become a mini, I guess that knowledge point. We want a dolmen as well. And I identified these three, didn't I, as dolmen candidates. There's another one there. One, two, three. With that one is four. Can we get another stone circle in there? That's what I'm thinking. Five, six. So it's doable. We can put another stone circle in and that would get us three knowledge. Mmm. It is a little... It's all a little far away from the settlement though. That's what concerns me. It'll take ages to get those stones back. So I think I'll go with a very simple menhir and then a dolmen. Which can be done a lot faster and will give me knowledge, two knowledge points. What am I looking for? I'm looking for armour and ploughing. Hey, hey, hey. Armourer. Where's our armourer? We want leather, please. Let's build another armorer to help and another one outside for recycling. I should have waited until spring was after, shouldn't I, really? Over, I mean. Trader! Knowledge is what I want. Flax is quite important because it's used in other things as well. So, really starting to feel the need on that. Oh, great. I can upgrade these to walls now. Fantastic. Can I also, I can't upgrade those yet. 
And I can upgrade to roundhouse. Okay, so this is where we start to need stone. We've got space for seven more people, so... Let's pop in an upgrade. Right, let's get that kitted out. Which is the pointy end? That's the pointy end, right. Spiritual mini. Pop it there. So we don't have far to go. Banners need iron. Of which we have none. We've got plenty of iron ore. We don't have charcoal. Right. So we need wood. Can we upgrade stables? We can. Good. But I'm thinking I'm going to need plows before I can sensibly raise my animal limits. Wood, 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 wood. Sickles, 88. Let's put that to 100 and f 125 of adults so we can stop making them. Is there anything else on infinity that shouldn't be? No. Slings we're not making. Maybe we could do some more axes. Maybe that's what's causing the delay in getting wood. So, do I need to keep these going? I don't think we need the bone tools anymore. That's just wasting time. I don't want to create leather clothes anymore. Bows are already being made in the workshop. Sickles and picks, the basic tools we don't want to run out of. Right. Let's put this as a high priority job. They've got a long journey back from that flax. It'd be nice to have a gate there, but that means I would need fortifications to protect it. Let's pop up a couple more watchtowers because I think we've got a um, knowledge point if we get another one. Ah, already got it. Warehouse. All our storage is full, so. Let's pop up a warehouse. That's ten knowledge. Plows, finally plows. Right, workshop, we want plows. And I want twenty plows, ultimately. How many cattle have I got? Nine. Is that sustainable? Four, yes. So with a bit of luck, we're going to start getting some serious cattle. We need to put that limit up to 20. Uh-oh, raiders and a big party. A very big party. Let people in, shall we? Now we close the gates. Now we open them. Oh, well, we saw them off. Okay, good. But we should replace 
that fallen watchtower and create a wall there. It's time to start getting walls up. Like stone walls. For that I definitely need population. Right. Now, what do they need? They need flax and wood and sticks. Okay. Right, we're getting charcoal in now. Good, so we're getting iron and steel in as well. But our straw is starting very slowly and surely to go down. So hopefully these ploughs now being created will help us. To be more efficient at making straw. Right, okay. Workload has calmed down a bit. Let's get a residence and let's make it a stone stables. What we do not have space for. Statues are worth having, but so are composite bows. Raiders are going to be my biggest threat. So let's get continuous production of swords up. Iron costs the same to make as steel, but iron is used in defences and other things, whereas steel is only used in tools, so we're going to focus on steel. Okay, so we've got a bit of downtime. I think I can lose one of those now. I don't actually have any flint, so it's not doing anything. I think I'm just going to get them both of them. a priority. We've got the sticks, we've got the wood, we've got the straw. Let's pop up our first banner while we're here. We've got some iron. We'll put this banner, ooh, I don't know the gates Just let people see it no consent well if raiders fire at it then they're not firing at my people are they right tech finally you can have all the bones you can have all the cheese bone sickles you can have bone knives you can have bone harpoons you can have all the flint spears You can have 20 flint sickles. You can have some leather outfits. Right, that doesn't that still doesn't take us very far, so. What can you sell me for two? I'll take two bones back. Okay, so that's hydropower. Oh, good, good, excellent, excellent. Now, I'm not really expecting to get raids down on this gate, but hydropower is really going to help my um, workload.
and I'm gonna put the flax down here because that's closer to a gate gonna upgrade one of those to a warehouse we want stone lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of stone still got a few we can pick up for 10 it's all 10s and 12s now right let's get some more round huts down Three hundred and fifty, eh? Right. Let's get some wool down. Bone harpoons, freeing up storage space by getting rid of that, essentially. Right. Linen. And linen cloth. Wool cloth, fishing rods, and we've got more than enough grain, so let's just use some of that for cheeses. Flint sickles. Copper spears. Bronze spear. How am I making bronze? I'm not mining tin. Okay, that's more than enough. And that is reinforced shields. Okay. Let's get our armorer to make some reinforced shields. Stop making the less good ones and please just chuck out some leather armor as well. The priority has to be defenses now. And look, we've got some spare capacity, so let's put some in. Firstly, we're going to double up the walls. Especially at this corner, because they liked hitting that. Good. That's going to be really helpful. So we're going to move that limit up to 100% of adults so that our composite bows gradually replace our normal bows. The normal bows can then be sold. How many plows we got? Four. Oh, you collect bronze stuff, don't you? Yeah, so I'll have picked up some bronze tools from raiders. I mean, it might end up being close, so maybe I do want to get those bronze tools made. Okay, we've got a good lot of armor. Everybody's got wool. Not everybody has linen. Come. Now these are running. I don't need these. I'll just be creating extra 
useless jobs. I said I was going to make a dolman, didn't I? There's our mini, which has not been built. What happened to the stone? There was a stone right here. So we're going to need that stone. There aren't stones in the same place as there were, so they must be spawned randomly. That stone. And taming some aurochs will get my numbers up. Very easy, rather than waiting for the females to give birth. Means I will get my... Um, my regular supply of meat faster. What? Okay. So, okay, so what happened is that they dragged that stone all the way there rather than making the many. I probably went back and forth a couple of times as well. Okay, the harvest is in, and we've got a pathetic amount of straw. We are going to need a lot more straw next season. That's going to become a defensive area. Next season, I'm going to move those vegetables out. further out so I can put some straw producing crops down. How long have and I've got a little area here so let's pop some barley just right in the middle of town. And a little einkorn, a little emma. Maybe. Every little helps. Okay we've got some spare capacity. But what we don't have are materials that we need, like stone, to upgrade the roundhouses and stuff. So what can we do with our spare capacity? Well, why don't we get a megalith in? Okay. That's, I was going to say there's not many raiders, but um, yeah, there's quite a few that were I was unable to see. Okay, we saw them off, but we've lost a gate. And part of the wall. Let's replace that with stone. Cattle dying of starvation isn't a good look. And especially not when I've not run out of straw. This is flax, and I've got enough flax, so I'm going to change this to be a grain crop. Right, stone carving. What can we get to?
420 bones. You can have all my bones. That gets me close. You can have all my leather outfits and some bread. Excellent. I think I want reinforced fortifications next. These can be picked up later. And I should put that on high, shouldn't I? Low on knives. Why are we low on knives? Let's get some steel knives going. We should have copper knives. We've got copper. We've got charcoal. Copper's still being made. Okay, well let's turn off those spears. We don't need those. Sickles are useful to have. You should not be making spears either. Okay. So you two are just making copper tools, basically. So let's get another stables upgraded. need more stone before I can do that. What are people working on? He's going to give up because he's thirsty. When he gives up, the other one will go as well. Come back here and take that. No, can't be bothered. Cattle, 13. Really going to have to have a good result on the straw this season. Or I'm going to have to cull some of the cattle. And I really need stone. I can get the enhanced fortifications now. Good. Platforms are worth having, but the guard tower takes so much iron to make, and then you've got to maintain it. Really, I just build them to get the knowledge points. Trader! I've literally just given a trader everything I have, so... don't think we're going to make it. However, we are getting the harvest in. So I take a bit of a risk. Also start making nets. How are we doing for fishing rods? Did we get knowledge points out of them? We did. So we can stop making fishing rods and start making fish traps. So how are we looking in terms of the text that we need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. Might be doable. Yes! Better straw result. Much better straw result. Now, I need to move that. And that. 
further out. Let's plop them down here. It's only one journey to make, not two. And we'll put down some straw generating crops where they were. Iron we haven't got much of. Let's make that a reinforced gate. And we don't have much iron because we don't have much charcoal. Wood, 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 wood. We've got a bit of spare capacity. Let's just set off some wood jobs. Now I definitely can't afford anything you've got to sell, pal. 350. No chance. Well, that has certainly improved the wood situation. I think I want another charcoal producing thing. It's metallurgy, isn't it? With no picks. Well, that's because we've got no metals, because we had no charcoal. Let's put a few picks in the line as priority. That doesn't seem like it was such a good idea to put that there now. have to recycle it. Stone, and that means all our gates are now fortified a bit. We are going to want to carry that around. We are going to want to carry that around the whole settlement, but Now it'll be fine. I hope. Right, we're coming up to another knowledge point. What can we make? We can make another warehouse. It'd be nice, but I'm pretty sure I can't. Five hundred and twenty five. I can. Right, and that gets me male armour, which is really good, but the metal needs to go into upgrading platforms initially. Right, we've got the knowledge to get something else. Baking would help with our workload. Right, the dolmen's been completed. So let's turn that into a roller and create a statue 
by the pointy end just to get the points, the knowledge points. Trying to weigh the relative merits of putting in a tin ore mine. Bronze takes two copper and two tin. It does create two bronze. So it's actually two copper, one tin, two charcoal. So it is actually more efficient. Mmm. I think I'll put some... I didn't realise that before. Let's have a look for where we can pop in a tin mine. Oh, quite far away. That's closer. That's very much closer. So we'll pop in a couple of tin mines. Get bronze, make sure bronze is switched on. And get some bronze tool making done. Might actually best switch off the copper. Since bronze is more efficient. Right, so we've got three copper to use up. Let's make those mines. Autumn, fantastic with the straw. We must have better sickles now. Doing nicely for sickles, got steel sickles. That's wanting leather. We have no tannin. Can I chop down all the trees where I used to collect tannin? Where are you going all the way around there? Go to the other gate. Which person? Oh, because he's putting it down there. We don't want those in there. That was only there because the crafter was nearby. We want the stone to be up here near to where it's getting smelted. It's a wood pile. That's a rock pile and we are allowing iron in. Good, okay. There, we don't want the stone. Sweeter. Again, I'm pretty sure I can't make it this time. But I could be wrong. All the bones, a couple of fishing rods. Cheese, flint, bone, crappy bow. Copper knife is what we're using now. Copper spears can go. Round shields can go. And a bit of bread. Well, I was wrong, I can make it. And we've got enough to do the baking. Great, that's going to help productivity. Let's get a couple of ovens up for the purposes of bread making. And then <coughs> we can turn off bre bread production there. That wood pile was there because the crafter was there. Is there a better place for the wood pile now? 
doesn't really matter. Thinking of reintroducing Flint to get picks back up. We need pixels, we need axes. What are our limits? Axes are limited to 30. Picks are limited to 20. Well, that's probably why. Let's put that up to 33% and that up to 33%. Okay, so they've killed my chap down there. You need to get back to the settlement. I don't want you dying as well. Okay, yeah, they attacked that corner. They do like attacking corners. And we've lost the gate and some wall. I'm going to put a reinforced gate in there. And some wall in here. I'm going to want to bring that wall around here as well. And to put a platform in there. Trader definitely can't afford anything, and you haven't got anything. Three more techs to go. Might be worth just putting another eight skins outfits out there. Hunting some deer, some mouflon, donkeys, horses, boar, bear. Okay, so we've got some options. What are you? You are Mouflon. Build a guard tower, some breweries, a bridge. Absolutely pointless, but there you go. So, all the easy stuff, it's taken us nearly there. Okay, okay, okay. This is good. This is good. Only two more techs left to get. I only need two knowledge points to get one. 
and I can basically sell everything remaining in my settlement to get the other one. So what we're going to do to get there, put up a mini here. Put up a brewery. Get them in here, we need a stone. I actually think, yeah, I can pop up two other breweries and get the other knowledge point. Five roundhouses. A deep iron mine. Easy peasy, deep iron mine. Let's, takes 20 wood. Iron mines produce iron. Ah, hello. Right. Straddle granaries, eh? I am going to save this and call it last tech. And then I'm going to quit and see how much time I've been spending. Great. Four hours and six, so it's doable. I'm just gonna finish this off. And we just need the next and final trader to come. Well, final trader offering tech. But let's not assume that they'll have tech. Let's carry on building stuff. You hero! Right, 490. Doesn't really matter what I sell. Boom. Achievement unlocked. I thought that was going to be a lot more challenging than it actually was. To be honest. And I've seen that on normal difficulty, skipping bronze altogether really doesn't matter much. Although I've also learned that bronze making is more efficient. Up until now, I've always believed it's, it's less efficient than copper, but it is actually more efficient. But going from copper into the bronze age, really no big deal. Um, these texts can be picked up later with no real no real penalty and even going into the iron age early didn't prove much of a challenge now i know how to defend and here we are look the achievement has been done of course i don't have all the milestones i'd need 150 people and that takes a little while longer. And these defences would need to be beefed up to cope with the impending raider attacks that come as you get that, because the raiders evolve and they, they get better weapons and more of them come. So if I was going for the iron settlement milestone as well, yeah, I'd want these defences to be looking better. I would also note that I think the single two most important lessons to come out of that were hunt manually, choose a big hunting group, go and kill several animals at a time in one hunt. It's going to be so much more efficient than issuing single jobs. Secondly, sheep. You will have noticed that pretty much every time I bought a tech, my major resource was wool and wool cloth. Having 30 sheep just replenishes and keeps replenishing that wool stock. So you can just keep buying tech. And the great thing is, it's cheap. As long as you've got the straw, 
you don't have to set the jobs the people just go and uh, shear the sheep you've got the wool um, it might be a good idea to set a higher limit for, for wool cloth but I don't think I've really stayed on 20 for very long you just have to make sure that you are wearing uh, that you are producing enough wool and clothing to keep your people warm but if I've got a stockpile of 30 wool that's like almost all the cost for a mid game tech and a healthy dose towards a late game tech and uh, fishing equipment fishing rods fishing nets cheap to produce flax and sticks and yet you're, you're, you're trading them at a value of like 15 and you can automate their production in a workshop you could even set up a, a dedicated manual workshop just to keep churning them out so with those two techniques I think this achievement is eminently doable pretty much by anybody good luck <laughs>